Welcome to my presentation on deep measurement updates for base filters. My name is Johannes Pankert and I'm with the Robotic Systems Lab at ETH Zurich. Base filtering is a technique to track the internal state of a system. It consists of a process update in which the belief of the current state is propagated through time and a measurement update that fuses in new information from sensor data. In a particle filter, a specific type of base filter, the belief is parameterized by a set of samples, the particles. During the measurement update, those particles are being weighted and resampled according to their conformity with the current measurement. Traditionally, a data processing pipeline is created to extract high-level information from raw sensor data such as images. Heuristics are employed to convert this information to importance weights. In this work, we propose a novel approach, deep measurement updates, to compute importance weights directly from raw sensor data. This eliminates the need for creating problem-specific sensor data processing pipelines and heuristics. Deep measurement update has a conditional encoder-decoder neural network structure to process depth images. The encoder network compresses the input image into a latent vector. The latent vector is augmented with a condition vector, in particular the particle state of a base filter. The augmented latent is then decompressed by the decoder and fed to the output module. In the output module, the L1 loss between the reconstructed image and the target image is computed. For training, the target image is a primed image with the same background as the input image, but a different state. We provide the primed state as the condition vector. When deploying as part of a particle filter, the target image is the same as the input with a network conditioned on the queried particle state. We use the loss as a likelihood measure between the particle states and the true ground truth state. Those likelihoods are used in the measurement update for the base filter. Such reconstructions are used to compute the weights of different poles and articulation state particles. One application scenario for deep measurement updates is the joint estimation of poles and articulation state of an object. We have trained the network with depth images of switchboard cabinets. The poles and the opening angle form the condition vector. In the top left, you can see an example of an image presented at training time. The top right shows the RGB image of a real-world scene with a cabinet. The corresponding depth image is in the bottom left. In the bottom right, we show the reconstructed scene with the switchboard cabinet being open. Such reconstructions are used to compute the weights of different poles and articulation state particles. We use a particle filter to estimate the poles of a box, highlighted in green. The box is hidden behind an obstacle and not visible to the depth sensor. After a few deep measurement update steps, the particle distribution becomes bimodal, with clusters of particles behind the two obstacles. Even though the target box is not visible yet, deep measurement update can leverage the knowledge of observed free space to eliminate some particles. We now remove one obstacle and reveal that the target object is not hidden behind it. The particle distribution collapses and only the particles behind the second obstacle remain. After removing the second obstacle, the target object becomes visible. The particle filter quickly converges to the ground truth state.